Hi there, Taurus! How are you guys doing? I really hope that this reading finds you well. Welcome to your weekly reading. Back with me again, NSL from the Mysterio. For those of you already to my channel, hello. And for those of you who have been here a long time, welcome back. So, um, I don't normally usually do weekly. So it might come as a surprise to you why am I doing weekly all of a sudden. But because this past few months I've been going on a hiatus and haven't been consistently uploading videos on my YouTube channel, so I thought to myself, like, why don't I just do weekly for three times so <laughs> to pay off the three months that I've been, you know, in hiatus and then after that we'll go back to our bi-weekly reading, all right? Okay, so um, as usual, guys, this is going to be a relationship spread, meaning that you could always apply this with anyone in your life. It could be with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, exes, crushes, fiance, family members, anyone. I am basically just going to be picking up your relationship energy in general, all right? And don't forget to also check your sun, moon, or Venus sign, because for me personally, I realize that with my readings, I resonate much, much more with my Venus sign rather than my sun sign, but probably because my Venus is in the 8th house, I don't really know, or my north node is actually in the 8th house with my Venus there, but I don't really know, but if it doesn't resonate, then it just doesn't resonate, all right? There's so many amazing, talented tarot readers out there for you to just click and watch, all right? So, how are you guys been doing, Taurus? How was July, though? Like, it was pretty tough for some people, me included. Not just the Mercury retrograde, but it's just like everything. It seems like a like we've been bombarded with things and things and things. Oh. Anyway, your overall energy for the now, you have the three sets of swords, eight of pentacles, and nine of swords. So in terms of let's just take it into a general for a few seconds, right? So if you've been thinking, so if there if there has been like a, either another employment or there has been a business or a strategy that you're looking towards for, like just go ahead and do it because um, it's going to bring you out of a period of nine of swords in reverse, you know? I don't understand this. I mean, if you're only dating with one person, the energy is just crazy because one minute they're here, next thing you're there, everywhere, you know what I mean? It, I mean, both of you are in love with one another. You have the Princess of Chalices in here. And the thing about the Princess of Chalices is it's the youngest suit in this particular deck of mine. And as you can see from the imagery itself, like... The princess of chalices has a tendency to overly idolize somebody. When you're falling in love with somebody, you have a tendency to be very, very unconditional, yeah? Giving them like an unconditional type of love, you give them everything. And, but the thing about the princess of chalices is that if it's not control or it's not managed in a good way, it also has a tendency to take things kind of like quite personally. So is this person is in love with you? Yes, they are. But sometimes it's scary for them. Because to some people, this feeling, the Princess of Chalices, is scary. I don't want to be showing you my feelings first. I need to be, I need to make sure that you're on the same page as me. Usually, people who does this would have a Cancer placement. Cancer sign, sun sign, or Cancer moon. Because I have Cancer moon myself. So, there is this need to protect the feelings. There is this need to, oh my god, I love you so bad, but I'm afraid to get hurt. Therefore, I'm not going to be, like, in Indonesia, we call it dual mahalo. We're selling expensive. So, when you propose to them with a uh, lover's card they're selling it expensive as a way like, as a way for them to be showing to you that they are not really in love with you but it's because they're scared if that makes sense and i don't i don't, I don't, I don't I'm, not, I'm not making any sense but you know you get the idea but you're tired of it aren't you taurus like you really really are tired of it you're tired of them protecting their feelings a lot you're tired of them you know selling expensive you know, in Indonesia club that's Jua Mahal trying to Jua Mahal so when you've offered them something and they rejected it and then they come to you like look let's have fun let's spend time together you're also like the five of swords because hey what the hell are you doing like last time I asked you to do this and you don't want to and now that I'm pulling back and now you're asking me to do this? Of course I don't want to, you know? There's this mirroring kind of thing that you both guys are doing to one another. This person is hot and cold though. And it's taking a toll on you. It's 
person is really selling expensive. <laughs> they're so denying the fact that they want you. Yeah? When they're you're here, when they're you're there. And then the next time they're the nana one they they're the nana ones, they push you away. They're not becoming emotionally vulnerable. They're not really showing their emotional side, which kind of like makes you feel exhausted. We kind of make you feel disappointed sometimes. Like you just want to wait for the rain to pass. I feel like when that time comes, when you guys are really, really exhausted, and it's in the present card. So when you guys are really, really exhausted, you no longer want to do anything. Like you don't you no longer want to do anything. And you might be thinking, oh my god, I found my match because this person is more stubborn than I am. You look at the one at the bottom. Knight of Swords. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Wands. Ace of Four Cups. G Taurus. Ini kenapa tiba-tiba mereka ngamuk sih? Hmm. But that feeling, I feel like it's going to be revealed in the future. And why is that so? Is because they cannot take it any longer. So this person that you're dealing with has a little bit of a um, attachment issues. It's either they're avoidant or they're the anxious type of person. But the way that I see it is they're much more of a anxious type of person with the nine of pentacles in here in reverse, which means that they're like a little bit of a codependent. So when you cannot, so they're the type of person who would want you to read their minds, but not everybody is a mind reader, right? So there's going to be a point in the future that they're going to blow up to you. There is going to be a point in the future where they're going to confront you with something in which you're going to be happy about it, funnily enough. Because you guys are like, finally, finally you show your feelings because anger is also emotions, right? You're like, finally, finally now I'm not hurt because now I know, you know, exactly how you feel. Now I know that you care. Now I know that you're like this, like you, you, you would see this happening. And this starts off by you feeling exhausted at first. This starts off by you not putting any more effort just because you're tired of fighting for this love. So when you guys are tired of fighting for this love and you back away and you're just kind of like tired and you ignore them, you know, like all of their emperor ways, all of their... Mm, I'm not trying to badmouth people here. So emperor is like a very, very... Um, like you would see this as being very, very selfish in stubborn ways and then you're just kind of like... Um, go away for a little second they're going to be confronting you and in there you would see how they truly feels about you in there you would see that they care about you and you guys are going to be like finally finally something and the funny thing is that when they blow up at you in the future when they really are going to come at you to confront you is where we see you know a path to enlightenment almost because it's a good start. So when they confront you, like, like it's not a bad thing. It's, it's, it's actually a good thing for this relationship. Because finally they're showing their emotions, something that they've been avoiding in the past. In the past, yeah? And also in the now. They've been avoiding this. They've been avoiding this for quite a while. And in the future, you will see this. And it's going to drive off because of this anxiety that they have. Which is beautiful. And then you're going to be like the Sun card and also the Empress card. So you're going to talk things through. You want to be diplomatic with them. But at the beginning when they confront you with things, you're going to be like really happy because you're like, finally, finally. <laughs> know what I mean? All right. So that's if you're dealing with one person. What happens if you're dealing with two people? If you're dealing with two people, you're focused much more on person A than person B. Because person B, even in the past, this person wanted to do something with you, you guys rejected that idea. And now they're 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 pissed off where they're being petty, so they're trying to push you away, and you guys are like the five of pentacles. Because, you know, in the past this person wanted to hang out with you, or they made kind of like a little bit of advances, and then you ignored them, or you rejected that idea, and then it finally come down to you like, look, maybe I should do something about it. But then they're kind of 
stuff like pushing you away this person be and you guys are going to be like the five of pentacles in the future this person really wants you apakah mereka akan minta sesuatu kepada si Taurus No, this person really wants you. This person, um, like the the impact of the heart broke, the heartbreak that they feel in the past when you guys either rejected them or ignored them or you're distancing yourself away from them is impacting them on a daily basis. So they could be quite sluggish at work or they could be uh, just not so good feeling, if that makes sense, yeah? But I feel like in the future, you guys are just busy dealing, you know, trying to get over your heartbreak over person A. So person A is somebody who is, it's like somebody wants you and you want somebody else who is a pain in the ass for you. So person A is somebody who takes shelters out of you when you were being all lovey-dovey with them and stuff like that. And then now you're still kind of like chasing after them or you still want them heavily because you are the Sherry card and Sherry always have a destination in which they want to go to and you still feel hot for them. You probably would be offering them something. This person is much more of an emperor. So they're like, okay, you want to do something with me? It's got to be my way or the highway type of stuff. Yeah, and then I feel like because you really are so in love with them, there's this thing about them that just makes you go so crazy, like you really want them, yeah, that you're going to be allowing that to happen, and then in the future, you guys are going to be much more vulnerable, you're trying to um, give them your cups, but this person has the Knight of Swords, so I want to see what this Knight of Swords is all about. So this person has a knight of swords, and me meaning that um, they feel like you've hurt them in the past, and that is why now when you guys are offering your cups or your ace of chalices, your emotions, your raw emotions, this person is going to try to kind of like attack you just a little bit so that they could have a payback or a payoff of what you did to them in the past because they have the five of cups. So, it's, so they still remember those mistakes really badly. They still remember the fact that you guys kind of like hurt them in some ways. The love is there, but the pettiness is also there. The fear of being hurt is also there. So that's why they're going to come at you in a very, very harsh way. Not just swords. I mean, the swords is hurtful for a cup. You know what I mean? So it's going to be hurtful quite for this person. Eh? All right. So I think that's it for my reading for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next week for your weekly reading. All right. Bye. I love you.